Okay, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going over how to set up a charting software for swing trading. So let's do it. So I use Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. It is free. So if you don't have a charting software program, go ahead and download it and let's get started. The first things you're going to want are some very basic indicators. You want the 10 day simple moving average, the 20 day, 50 day and 200 day simple moving averages. Now, if you are using Thinkorswim, I'm going to save you guys some time here. You can go to setup, open shared item, and then you can get the link in the description to my exact workspace. You, all you do is paste it in here, hit preview and then import it. But if you're not on Thinkorswim, just make sure you have these moving averages. That's all you need. And then also you need the ADR, which stands for average daily range of the stock. So how much does it move on average each day? Once again, if you're on Thinkorswim, I'll put the link to that in the description. You add it just like you do the other stuff. Open shared item, copy it, preview, import. So now that you have this set up, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to add drawings on here. All you want to do is you want to right click or mouse click click on this line and then now you can draw just like that and you can also use this line to see how many percentage things are up or down just like that and how you set alerts is just like this you right click go to create alert make sure it's at or above if you're trying to see if you're going to go long and then hit create just like that and also you can move these alerts around if you just hit replace and now I'm going to show you how I do my watch list. So if you look over here, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to delete all the things that they start you out with. You can do that by going here, delete gadget. Then you want to go down here, create three watch lists, wherever there it is. So create three of those. And the first one is going to be for your scans. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. The second one, you're going to want to name watch list, whatever you want. And then the third one positions. Now you want to link all these to the charts. So you want to go here, do red, go up here and make sure it also says red and do that for these as well. So how you're going to want to set these up is the first one is going to be for stocks you're watching to buy. The second one will be for stocks that you actually already have bought and these are your positions. So as you can see, if you have it linked with the red buttons, you can click on the stock over here in your watch list and it'll pull up the chart. So I like to remove a lot of the clutter here and I'll customize my watch list. Let's see, let's go ahead and get rid of these. So I'll obviously have the symbol and then I like to do percent change and then I like to do last. And so that is how I'll set up my stuff. So as you can see, it keeps it very simple as you can just see how what the percent change was and what it's quoted at right now. And that is how I set up my watch lists. So the time frames that I like to use is the nine month daily time frame. As you can see, this is what we're looking at right here. If we look at the market. And then when I'm going back in history to review a stock, I'll go through the five year daily time frame and then I'll just scroll through like this. So that is how I set up my charts. And this is all you need is some simple indicators and a clean chart and we can all make some millions. Anyways, if you all want to figure out how to scan for stocks, check out the next video. I'll see you all next time.